So starting with our Godot project, we want to create two scripts. Our first script over here will be named state machine. And then we create the script and then we'll create our second script, which we'll just name it state. Now starting with our state script, we want to create this as a class called state. And we're going to have a variable called state machine, which is of type state machine, which we will be creating later. And we're going to have four functions, which is enter, exit, update, and physics update. Where update refers to process and physics update refers to physics process. Now moving on with our state machine code, we're going to create a class state machine and we're going to export our initial state, which is of type state, and then we're going to have a variable, which is current state. And then we're going to have a dictionary of all the states, which we refer to with a string and it gives us the correlated state. Now moving on to our ready function where we set up the states, we want to iterate through all the children, which will be where our states would be. And then we check if that child is a state, then that state machine variable, we refer to this state machine. And then we add that state to our dictionary. And we can also make the text lowercase so we don't have to worry about any case sensitivity with calling the states. Now we just check if we have an initial state. And if we do, we use enter on the initial state and we set that initial state to our current state. Now moving on in our state machine, we want to create our process functions and our physics process functions. And we just check if we have a current state. So then we call update on that current state and throw in the delta. And we do the same thing for our physics process function as well. Now, finally, we want to create our chain state function where we have our new state name, which will be a string. And we get the new state name using the dictionary from before. And we make sure we use two lower to avoid case sensitivity. Now we have an assert function to check that if we actually found a state or not. This is just useful for debugging. After that, we check we have a current state, so then we exit that current state, and then we enter our new state, and then we change that current state we had before into our new state. Now to implement the state machine, I've created a basic uh, player class over here with a collision shape and a polygon, and inside our player script, we have an input direction that is taken from in the physics process and a basic move function that sets the velocity given these given parameters. Now first we want to create our state machine node and then we want to create a state node and with that state node we will extend the script and name the state node to idle and also we're going to rename the node to idle as well. Now in our idle script we want to reference the player and then we're going to go ahead and implement our physics update function. Now we want to call player.move and have a speed of 0 and, a, and any acceleration for now and then we throw in delta as well. And then we can simply just call player.move and slide. Now we want to check if our player input direction is not 0 because if it is not 0 then we want to change state to our move state that we will be creating now. And we do the same thing by creating that state node and we name it to move and then we go ahead and extend the state. Now in this move state, we're going to just copy the, pretty much all the code from the idle state and make a couple of changes. Where first, we want to change that our input direction, we check once it is equal zero, then we want to change the state to idle. And then we can go ahead and change the player move variables to a more reasonable value such as 400 uh, pixels per second and a better acceleration. And I'm also going to go back to idle and also change the acceleration as well. Now going over, we want to do our final step, which is in our state machine, we want to set the initial state. So we set it to idle and we can go ahead and now run the project. And as you can see, the player is able to move with the different states changing, as you can see with the output in the console.